All right, guys, for today, for the tomatoes, we're going to plant them in Sunshine Mix number four. And I was going to pop these in a five gallon fabric pot. So I'm going to start off with uh, Sunshine Mix number four with Mycorrhiza. I'm also going to add to that a little bit more perlite to it, as well as some um, worm castings. So I'm going to start off with uh, four gallons of uh, the Sunshine Mix number four with Mycorrhiza. Just a little, just a little bit more paralyzed to see a little bit more aeration. Another uh, three quarters of a gallon or so of uh, warm cactus. And to that. We're going to be adding one and two thirds cups of the uh, BioLive, and then we're going to add uh, three quarters cup of the uh, 444 uh, all vegetable fertilizer. These are both from Down to Earth. So one and three quarters cups of BioLive. Sorry, one. Three quarters of a cup. All right, and then we'll just give it a really good mix. Break up any clumps that come in. Wow, this is the first time I've ever used the Sunshine Mix and I really love the way it feels. It's a nice mix. It was a little pricey, but I can see why. It's a really good quality mix. We'll tell you, wear gloves when you're doing this, guys. There's, there's some forest material and such in here. You end up with a handful of splinters. All right, I'm just going to take this and uh, transfer it to a five-gallon bucket and make it a little easier to pour in a five-gallon pot. And then we'll get it planted. All right, this is a five-gallon uh, fabric pot I got off Amazon. It was like a five pack for, I don't know, like 13 bucks or something. Really good value. Got handles on them. Decent little quality. Uh, at least it, you know, at the first view. We'll see how they hold up over the season. Uh, got our soil mix here. Just uh, Right, I'm just going to go ahead and give this a little bit of a very light water and just to moisten up the soil a bit for the transplant. <laughs> this is our Joe's tomato. This is a Roma from Sicily, from a seed from the 30s now. Uh, it's I, I should have transplanted this a little while ago. It's, it's a little suffering. And also, there's some, hopefully this won't make it screwed up, but they've been outside for a few days here, and it's got a little bit of, uh, it's like moss or algae growing um, around the pot. So hopefully it won't screw things up. mostly on the pot so, so I'm going to go ahead and just pop her in here All right now just give it a minute to stabilize the water in the rest of the way and then uh, put her out in the garden we'll check in in a couple weeks and see how she looks